Well, hi, hello, and welcome. Uh, let's take a look at some basic matrix operations. Again, we're going to just use this video time to reinforce the things about which you read. So you've already read what a matrix is, that it's a rectangular array used for storing information. So let's imagine, just for kicks, that we serve, uh, we have a company that sells cars, and we sell those cars both in Geneseo and in New York City. And uh, it happens to be Toyotas, so we have Camrys and Siennas, uh, and that's what we sell. And maybe uh, last month in, in our two, uh, two used car lots, uh, in Geneseo, we sold two Camrys and three Siennas. But in New York City, uh, we sold 10 Camrys and 12 Siennas. Let's just imagine that that's the, that's the way. Uh, so this was July. Uh, I don't know, whatever, it's July. And then this is August, and for the same setup, Geneseo in New York City, Camrys and Siennas, maybe in August, business picked up a little bit, and we've got uh, maybe like this. Now, what do we mean when we add the matrices together? What does it mean to take this matrix and add it to this one. Well, how would we do that? We'd want to compare like things with like things. We would want a matrix that adds one component at a time. And what would that tell us? It would tell us that in Geneseo, we sold five Camrys over the two months and eight Siennas over the two months. In New York City, we sold 21 Camrys over the two months and 26 Siennas over the two months. That makes logical sense. Well, then, what does it mean if we subtract this matrix minus this one. Well, again, we'd want to compare like things to like things. 3 minus 2, 5 minus 3, 11 minus 10, 14 minus 12. And what would this mean? This would be the differences in sales from July to August. In the, the difference between July and August, we sold one more Camry and two more Siennas in Geneseo one more Camry, two more Siennas in our New York City branch. All of this should make sense to us, not just from a, oh yeah, we'll just add the same things in the same ways, but also why we would do that. So let's imagine, shall we, that the price of a Camry uh, a used Camry is, I don't know, $6,000, and the price of a used Sienna is $9,000, maybe. Let's just imagine. So then what happens when we multiply, sorry, when we multiply 3, 5, 11, 14 by $6,000, $9,000? Can we even do that? Well, this is a two by two. This has two rows in one column. Those match. And since those match, we can do it. And the answer is going to be a two by one. What is that two by one going to be? Well, we multiply the first row here by the first column here. There's only one column, so that's not hard. And we multiply multiply and add them all together. First entry times first entry, that's $18,000. Second entry times second entry, that's $45,000 for a grand total of $63,000. Then this row times, there's only one column, first entry times first entry, that's $66,000. Second entry times second entry, that's $12,600 uh, for a grand total of $192,000. What does that mean? Well, that means in Geneseo, 
we made $63,000 in sales. And in our New York City branch, we made $192,000 in sales. So the multiplication means something. We match up appropriate things with appropriate things. If this is the price of a Camry and this is the price of a Sienna, we want to match those up with numbers of Camrys, numbers of Siennas, numbers of Camrys, numbers of Siennas. And the answers that we get take us all the way back to what we made in Geneseo, what we made in New York City. Okay, so all of the operations mean something. They all mean something. So let's do a quick on your own here. Uh, let's do 2, negative 1, 5, 3, plus negative 1, 5, 2, 6. Let's do 6, 1, 3, 8, minus 1, 9, 7, 4. And let's do... Four one three two six one times uh, two negative two four. Take a moment, make sure you know how to do those, and I'll put my answers up in just a few minutes, in just a few seconds rather. So hit the pause button uh, to do to do this on your own. Okay, let's see if you can follow what happened. In the adding, we add like entries. Add row one, column one to row one, column one, put it in row one, column one, and so on across. Same for subtraction. Row one, column one, minus row one, column one, put it in row one, column one. But then for multiplying, things get weird, right? This is a two by three. This is a three by one. Those match, and the answer is a two by one. We take the first row times there's only one column. First entry times first entry. Second entry times second entry. Third entry times third entry, and we add them up. Eight, negative two, 12. And then we take the second row and multiply it by the first column. There's only one column. First entry times first entry, second entry times second entry, third entry times third entry, 4, negative 12, 4, and we add them up. So this is the weird part. The multiplication of matrices is the weird part. Checking that we can multiply and then sometimes getting a matrix that has dimensions different than the dimensions of either of the original matrices and then remembering we are comparing like things to like things. In our example, we compared Camrys and Siennas to Camrys and Siennas. We, we put Camrys to Camrys, Siennas to Siennas. It was an organized process. We do first entry times first entry, second entry times second entry, third entry times third entry, and add them up. So. If we remember to do this, we can keep things organized. We can know what we're doing at all times. Hope this is helpful. See you when we gather.